What's good, y'all? It's your girl. What am I doing? I knew something was off. My light's not on. I knew it was something. What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Yaji, and I'm back with another, back with another, back with another, back with another banger. You already know I've been rolling out content nonstop for y'all. So today, 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 um, what I'm actually going to be doing is talking about how to, one, build your confidence and to eliminate stress in your life. Because, I don't know, I get this um, a lot from people. People will say I'm a very confident um, person. Um, like, I know what, when I know something that I want to do, like, and I, it's in my mind and it's in my heart. Like, I do it and I, like, don't really second guess myself. Um, really, I'm going to just give some advice on that. And also some advice on how to eliminate stress. Because I feel like they kind of go hand in hand. At least in my life, they do. Now, your life, they might be kind of different. But, um, yeah, that's just what we're going to talk about today. So, I got my notebook. You know, my handy dandy notebook. You know, we love a good notebook. Okay. So, first, I'm going to do confidence. Like, how to boost your confidence. Um, then, I'm going to do how to eliminate stress. And then, I'm going to do um, both. If I have some for both at the end. Um, so... First thing first, for as far as confidence, I would say like the biggest thing that helped me and like just is just top tier. Know your style, find your style and like find your comfort level. Like if you know what makes you feel good and makes you feel comfortable, literally wear it, work it, whatever it is, make it feel comfortable. Like me, I personally, I like getting my nails done. I am a girly girl. Like I do like getting girly and dressed up, but nine times out of 10, I like putting on big oversized hoodies and giant sweatpants like that's just my comfort level i feel comfortable in that um i like being comfortable and relaxed i like slides i like that's my vibe now like if you like wearing high heels and a sequence dress whatever and that's what you feel comfortable in that's your confidence and like wear that and be confident in that like that's your style that's your vibe wear and don't like i guess like it's kind of hard in like today's society because like you see something you're like oh i like that that looks cute but like don't try and steal somebody else's whole vibe and personality if that makes sense like if you see something you like it like definitely take it and put your own twist and spin on it my style is oversized hoodie you know i'm a football chick you know i wrap my 49ers come for me if you want to okay we can just who's your favorite football team in the comments down below favorite team go ahead drop them drop them because i already know they're gonna be some hating raider fans i'm waiting go ahead Cause we the base team remember that remember that we we in the bay where y'all at vegas so get out the doll yeah definitely find your vibe find your style like that's like the biggest thing if you want to like in enhance your confidence is just like be comfortable in the things that make you feel comfortable make you feel the best um number two for confidence set your boundaries now I didn't start doing this until I got older, but this is something that just like, I don't know, like it just takes you to another level in, for, in terms of your confidence and like your ability to address people and talk to people. Set your boundaries early is like when somebody addresses you incorrectly, it's like, uh, <laughs> if you don't like me, that's fine. But you know, watch your mouth. Like definitely set your boundaries, like in terms of a relationship, friendship, whatever it is set your boundaries because if you don't set your boundaries like you kind of let that person step all over you and that in a some sense is kind of degrading you but you want to make sure that it is known it is known that if i'm doing something it's because i want to do it not because you telling me to okay like i don't have to do anything as my dad says you do not have to do anything it's that well for me because you know i'm black my accountant about that <laughs> Um, stay black and pay taxes. Those are the only two things you gotta do. And die. Sorry for getting dark, but that that's it. That is just like a, oh, like a part of setting your boundaries is like knowing somebody's opinion versus knowing a fact. Like that is such like when you when you find that boundary, that 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 barrier, that brick wall right there between fact and opinion. Can't nobody tell me nothing. But don't let somebody else set boundaries for you. Like, oh, you shouldn't do that because I heard this isn't that you heard. But guess what? You don't do it. Last time I checked, you don't do it. So how are you going to tell me what I can and can't do? And that's just that. That's a part of oh, my eye. 
my eye that's just a big part oh, oh, oh. my eye was kind of lagging <laughs> i had a, a glitch <laughs> that's a part of setting your boundaries it's like knowing fact from opinion um knowing what's good for you and what's what somebody else thinks is good for you your boundaries are your boundaries period okay number three um forcing yourself to get out of your comfort zone this is such a big one step out of your comfort zone like i've been scared for the longest to make a youtube channel and do it consistently because like one i felt like people wouldn't like me like i'm gonna tell you guys i didn't feel like people would like me um i thought like if i did decide to get bigger and grow the account like people were gonna comment negatively but at the end of the day like if i'm doing something that i'm happy and like i'm passionate about like those fears they just they need to be in the back of my mind not even in my mind they need to be somewhere i'm here in california they need to be in asia that's where they need to be they don't even need to be near me um but i would definitely say step out of your comfort zone like if you want like like i said this goes back to another other point like if you want to do something and you're just like oh i'm scared do it like honestly you're probably 10 steps closer to where you want to be in life if you do it versus like having that bit of regret and like that's one of my biggest fears is having regret in my life and like oh dang i wish i would have done this no i'm gonna do it and guess what if i don't like it it is what it is but if i do i at least took that step to get started so like definitely step outside of your comfort zone like i don't know why like that's just a real big confidence booster it's like in a lot of people that i've seen at least this is for me this is my opinion this is not fact opinion um but stepping out of your comfort zone really does as i've seen like boost your confidence because you're just more comfortable in different scenarios and that's what you do as you build your confidence is you discover a new person like the better version of you so that's number three okay uh number and this is number four and this is the last one is for confidence find things that you're good at whatever you're good at i would say do whatever you're good at and enhance it in a way um it, it's really it's really simple but it's very difficult when you find something you're good at enhance it in some way shape or form so if you're good at art and you have a specific art style that you like doing and like you know you're good at doing it do it all the time be like hey can i draw this for you like randomly like do it do it because you want to like do it because you want to and because you have the passion and desire and drive to do it don't do it because oh well i have nothing else to do or you know it, it's just it's just something to do like do it because you actually enjoy it like these videos i actually enjoy recording them editing them like it's fun to me and like to see people like watch them brings me joy so i'm gonna keep doing it i'm gonna keep doing it because one i'm good at it one i enjoy doing it and hell yeah it's fun like those are three look at that that's three things and it's also a that's confidence right there i'm gaining confidence in myself because i'm doing something that one i like two i think i'm pretty good at you know this is opinion opinion two i'm pretty good at and three it's fun like it is it's just out of my comfort zone and it's fun like i never would have thought it would have done this well um as well as it's done so far so that's i don't want to get too into you know depth with it i honestly could just do a full video just on confidence but like i want to touch on stress too because i feel like they go hand in hand um now this is this these next four are going to be for stress um specifically so first um way to eliminate stress in your life uh i would say is acknowledging and acknowledgement so acknowledging your mental health and physical health um is just such a big part of stress relieving um when you acknowledge the things in your life that do cause you stress um whether it's mental physical whatever um it helps you a lot i know for me acknowledging that my mental health was important and there were certain places and people that affected my mental health that helped me and that eliminated the stress out of my life because one if your mental health and physical health are not in the best you eliminate those things that cause those negative effects guess what that stress is just somewhere else in the universe in the world wherever um so that is a big thing is acknowledgement so like if you do take the time like this is just for confidence and stress get a journal write down your goals for confidence and for stress like write down things that are in your head like if you have things just 
piling over, just do 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 like you're constantly thinking, write them down. Um, and when you write them down, like make sure you go back and look at them every once in a while. Like I have a journal that I've had for the longest, and like it, if somebody else were to read it, you would it wouldn't make sense to you because a lot of it's just scribble and like I just write random ideas at certain times. But for me, it makes sense because it's like. You know, my, at that point in time, my like my heart or my head was feeling like this, and I was duh, 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 I was just all over the place. That's why it looks like that. Other places are very organized, and oh, that's how my life was going at the time. Like it, it just ref it's a reflection of your progress, in my opinion. Um, but that's step one is to eliminate stress is acknowledgement. Um, acknowledge your mental health, physical health, the negative things in your physical health and mental health, and that helps a lot. Um, number two now i don't mean to sound cheesy okay okay um yoga stretching and like some sort of physical exercise like those some like i don't know where that was a thing but like i've noticed especially like now um that i'm back home and i'm working and i have the time to do it like stretching before i go to bed and when i wake up like whether it's just touching your toes and like you know just I'm not saying you gotta be in a Pilates class. If the hip struggle, come on and shake that cute little booty of yours. I'm not saying you gotta do all that. I'm just saying take the time to stretch out your body, you know, roll out your neck, you know, do neck circles, whatever. There are YouTube videos on this. I'm not a yoga instructor, but like go on YouTube. There are apps for it. Like it's not that hard. There's apps, there are YouTube videos, like just find it, stretch stretch yourself out do some yoga do some sort of physical exercise i know a lot of people do already but like that's just a big stress reliever in itself because like afterwards you just feel like you've released a lot of energy and it's beautiful so that's number two number three is spend time with the people you care about your loved ones your friends your family honestly that is just that just speaks for itself like if you know me i am with my family a lot um probably too much but being with your family just eliminates so much stress. Now, if your family is stressful, <laughs> but yeah, that that's number three is just be around your family or loved ones. And number four for stress, and this is my go-to biggest biggest. You want to talk about freaking dropping knowledge this is the biggest thing i can tell you and people wonder why in college and in school i don't stress out like i don't really ever have those stressful moments number four biggest tip everything happens for a reason like you were placed in that position for a reason that happened for a reason whatever it is if you fail a test guess what you were gonna fail that test before you took it and that's just facts if you like if your tire is not working right and it, it just it's it's doing the most and you just can't get to work guess what you weren't gonna get to work before that tire happened like i'm telling you everything happens for a reason and that's my belief now if you might believe in something else but that's just how i look at life um everything happens for a reason it's not the end of the world if something does happen it's never going to be the end of the world like you just got to kind of roll with the punches because like like you're you're set on a course like you're kind of set on a course now there are gonna be things that are kind of thrown at you like okay i wasn't really ready for that but we gonna and you gotta be you gotta be able to move and like go with the flow like dive bob and weave okay you gotta be like a bob and weave okay um but like that's just like the biggest thing that gets me through every single day is like knowing everything happens for a reason i like if i meet somebody that's just negative and just a horrible person like sometimes people are angry at work like you know what that was gonna happen before i even step foot here so that's it like that's just how it is um and it just like kind of just de-stresses me at the end of the day because i know like my path is gonna take me somewhere that i needed to be and wanted to be hopefully and that's just like having that in the back of my head just kind of just takes me down a level now i'm not saying like just flunk every test on purpose like not saying that at all like definitely try try your best but like if it doesn't go in your favor like it happened for a reason like sometimes failing a test leads to freaking you getting your dream job no you didn't hear it from me sometimes i'm gonna tell you this that sometimes failing a test leads you to your dream job
that's the real tea. <laughs> All right, and then this is my last thing um, for both stress and confidence. This is just a big thing that can really just get you through any day is do things that make you happy. Um, if you enjoy journaling or reading or writing or creating videos or playing soccer or playing football or, you know, making lanyards or building a robot, I don't know, okay? If you enjoy something, I would say spend time and do things. Spe set a set time to do those things. Like, don't just, don't just forget about it. Like, if you have the time to do it, do it. Um, and honestly, that'll just bring up your confidence in yourself because you're happy doing something. And like, I feel like anytime you do something that you enjoy and then you go like on to life, like you're always like, you're, like your energy levels are kind of just up there. Um, and then like, as far as stress, like when you're doing something you enjoy, like your stress levels are at a very low, I would hope low. I hope, I hope you're not stressed out when you're doing something you enjoy. I don't know. I mean, there's some people that like are general and junkie. So like, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> um, but that's it for this video. Um, honestly, it was kind of supposed to be quick, but like it took some time, but I'm okay with it. Like, I just really wanted to record this video. I feel like somebody out there in the world needs it. So if you feel like somebody you know needs to, needs to watch this video because they stressed out or they just not as confident as you know they could be, I definitely send this to them, especially if like some of the things resonated with you, like send it to them. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you are not subscribed to the channel, like what are you doing? Like we're about what, 10 videos, not even 10 videos, like seven videos in, you're not subscribed. Like, come on now, friend. Like we supposed to be homie. You supposed to, you supposed to be a homie, I'm supposed to be a homie and you're not even subscribed to a homie. How, how we gonna do that? How, how we, what? I'm confused but yeah subscribe to the channel down below um hit the bell so you the post notification can be turned on and you can be notified every time i record a video no you won't be notified every time i record but you'll be notified every time i upload a video um and then like share comment down below i did tell you guys to comment something oh your favorite football team down below if you have one if you don't have a favorite football team I don't know, just say hi. <laughs> All my socials will be in the description down below. Um, the link to the last video will be in the description down below. My vlog, my first vlog with me and my dad. That's it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Right.